Hey guys, this is Wilson from Places and Foods. This is my first time visiting two Michelin star restaurant and it is in Bangkok. This restaurant is R and it is two Michelin star restaurant for Michelin Guide Bangkok and Thailand. Hidden in one of the bungalow houses in Tong Lo, this is one of the best restaurants in Thailand. I visited this restaurant with my friends earlier this year and we ordered the Wisdom Symphony of Sustainable Samrap menu. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Alright, so as you see, this is the map of Thailand. Alright, let's start from the north. From the north, we have this northern style pork sausage, serving you with a green chili dip and a little bit of pork rye on top. And then let's go to Isan, which is the northeastern of Thailand. At the base, we have a rice cracker. Inside, there's an anchovy baked together with mozzarella and parmesan cheese. And then next one will be this one. We have a fish cake. And then on top, that jelly is a three flavor sphere. So that one is breakable. What we recommend is just poke it open and let the dip fly onto the fish cake. Mm. And then let's go to the south first. To the south, we have a grilled chicken with garlic sauce. Garlic sauce is a red color sauce right there made from chili powder, sugar, and coconut milk. So this one is sweet, creamy, and spicy. And the last one with the green roll. That one is a shy crepe stuffed inside with rice noodles to fry with crab meat. And as you can see, that looks like the sand that makes a map of Thailand. That's actually the lobster shell that fried together with sea salt. So everything is edible. Salad is Pak One jelly top with mixed Pak One avocado and end egg salad with Thai spicy caviar sauce. Appetizer Thai wooden crisps ball stuffed with mixed coconut cream and water chestnut topped with caviar served with smoked coconut in glass. The caviar came from the Royal Project Special Selection and the watermelon stuffed with caviar salad sauce served on a base crushed sweet dried fish and crispy shallot. The second appetizer is dark egg yolk with palo sauce and rice berry sponge cake, coconut galangal cream cappuccino with squid ink. This represents a lot of what the chef wants to achieve in beautifying the dishes and it feels so hard to eat because they are too beautiful. Sobe Sweet Tamarind Sobe which is the palate cleanser. For the main, the tom yum soup and the hot and spicy soup are cooked with special made glass cylinders. For once, I thought I went into a science class. What happened here is they boil the soup to the upper cylinder and briefly cook the vegetables and herbs. Then the soup will come down again and it is ready to serve. The soup is slightly flavoured, but the way of cooking it is really impressive. The other main includes crab roll chili dip served with fried squid tentacles, crab dip served with salted egg, Thai wagyu ancient cassia bitter curry organic duck breast red curry with lychee steamed new crop jasmine rice for dessert they offer mango sticky rice coconut milk ice cream mango parfait and steamed cassava with coconut or you can choose steamed taro cake with fresh coconut Toddy palm ice cream, marshmallow with sweet coconut milk, kanon nam, dog kulak. Lastly, we have the petite four, which is dara tong, tong chompunna, steamed banana cake, and chocolate truffle. What you can experience is how the chef interpret the food through his technique and skills in cooking and presentation. Some of the simple dishes are cooked with different ways so it brings out more flavours and tastes that you can't imagine. For more information, please check out the description. Thanks for watching everyone. 
please subscribe to my channel and take care.